Hey guys, it's Jordan, and today, unfortunately, I am not coming to you live from Disney World. Boo. Um, but I'm still in Florida, so I'm actually at my parents' house, which is in Bradenton, Florida. Uh, we are officially in the afterglow of our Disney World experience, and I am just hanging out at my parents' house here for about an additional week after the Disney trip, just so I can continue to thaw out from the awful cold winter we're having in Indiana and um, try to get a little bit of sun. I managed to get burnt yesterday. We went over to the dog beach and I stayed under the umbrella the entire time. And yet here I am with red on my arms and my face and my chest. So I guess that just tells you, I don't know what that tells you. It tells you something. I definitely take after my dad in that regard though, because if you notice, my mom looks pretty tan in those videos that we took in Disney World. So I definitely didn't get the tan gene, but um, I'm just glad to not be in the icy cold anymore. So today I was going to unpack all of my stuff, but I thought, you know, might as well just do a quick like Disney haul video to show you all the cool fights that I got. So um, I'm gonna go through my two bags that I've got here full of goodies. We did some serious damage, mom and I did, and these are actually just my things, so um, mom's got her own loot bag as well. So I'm just gonna show you the stuff that I got today. But something that definitely contributed to this serious shopping adventure was my mom is an annual pass holder. So some things, uh, something that people typically don't know about annual pass holders is that they get discounts at Disney World. So at a lot of different stores, she got up to 20% off, and it was actually even over in Disney Springs, like um, some of the normal retail shops, which I'll show you something that we got later, um, that is a typically high-end uh, designer brand, and they even offered us 10% off there. So there's a lot of great discounts that come with being an annual pass holder. She also got a lot of discounts at restaurants across Disney World and over at Disney Springs as well. Um, so even though it's a little bit pricey, you know, you can't just look at being an annual pass holder from the perspective of how much money does it save me in ticket costs. It also saves you a lot of money in other areas as well. So uh, let's dig into the goods and see what I got. So the first item I got, and I know I was complaining about the winter that we're having back in Indiana, but uh, I've been on the search lately for some infinity scarves, and we actually found this one over at the gift shop that was in um, Port Orleans French Quarter. So we went over there for breakfast on our last day at Disney World. and. Um, we decided, I, I thought that this was really cute. You know, sometimes you find merchandise at Disney World that's like adorable, but you wouldn't wear it outside of Disney World because it's covered in Mickey ears or your favorite character, and that's just not necessarily what you wear with everyday life. But this was fairly plain, um, and it looks very warm, actually. And the only little semblance of it having any tie back to Disney World is it's got this little Minnie Mouse emblem on it. And so. Um, I thought this was great, you know, just for everyday wear, and then it's kind of like a secret little I love Disney World here tucked up on the edge of the scarf. So I love this. This was only $30, and most everything that we got had my mom's annual pass holder discount on it, so this was even less. Alright, so this is not actually something that we purchased, but it's still kind of a souvenir. This is a little bag of Ghirardelli chocolate squares. So they handed these out over at the dessert party that we went to for the Happily Ever After show in Tomorrowland Terrace. I was definitely not expecting it. They had plenty of desserts out and ready to go for everybody, as you might have seen in that video. And if you haven't had a chance to see that video, I will link it below so that you can go check it out. Um, I haven't even looked through these to see what flavors we've got yet, but they definitely are Ghirardelli chocolates, and then they do have the little Disney emblem on it, so I will have to go through these in just a little bit and see um, which flavors they did get to us. It's just so cutely wrapped at this point, like I just want to leave it. I cannot, I mean I can't even tie a bow like that. I am the most uncoordinated person, no bows for me. So this is one of those things that I mentioned that we got over at Disney Springs. This is a Kate Spade Minnie Mouse card holder wallet. So I was really excited about this because I have this big clonker wristlet that I use to hold all of my cards. And it's great for when I want to have an alternative to a, an everyday purse that's like a crossbody or something that will weigh down my shoulders, you know. It's nice just to be able to have like a little wristlet that you put on and, you know, don't have anything weighing down your back. Um, 
So, but I was carrying around a backpack every day at the park and having my big wristlet in there really did kind of weigh it down even more. So I thought this was a great little find because um, this way you can just put, you know, your cards in it, your ID, anything like that. If you want cash, you can put it in there as well. Um, the only downside is I do like to keep my lip balm in my wristlet and so there's really no good option for that. It's just kind of has to be kind of a floater in my bag, but still it's going to weigh a lot less and so I think um, the trade-off is worth it. And actually, you know, you may not even need a wallet at the resort, so you can actually tie your credit card to your My Disney Experience account. So if that's not something that you're familiar with, um, you can carry even less things with you into the park. Um, I just like to have this with me because you just never know. I mean, I get carded all the time, so I always have to have my ID with me um, because apparently I have a little baby face. That's fine. I'm 25, it's okay. And some, someday I'm gonna be like, yes, take my ID. So people keep telling me to relish these moments and I'm just like, all right. So, but regardless of if I even wanted to carry a wallet around the parks, this is just too cute. So I just love little Minnie Mouse things and I think this is a great purchase. And we did get 10% off with my mom's annual pass uh, over at the Kate Spade store in Disney Springs. So be sure, even if you don't think that they're gonna take your annual pass holder discount, ask around, cause you'd be surprised. All right, well this one is wrapped. It looks like I got a few wrapped things in here. So I hate to unwrap this cause I'm gonna be taking it home on a plane, but you know, I wanna, I gotta show it off. So I'm sure my parents have some tape around here. We can get this figured out. All right, so this item is actually a tea bag holder. So Craig and I drink a lot of tea at night. Uh, we always drink the sleepy time tea right before we go to bed to help us unwind at the end of the day. And I couldn't stop myself from buying this. I actually bought two of these, but um, I'm only gonna show you one because they're exactly the same. I don't think they've made an appearance in any of my videos so far, but we do have two little black kitty cats. We are a black cat household, and so I just felt like I had to have this tea bag holder because we like to bring our tea upstairs at night um, and we don't want to necessarily sit and watch it steep in the kitchen. And so it'd be great to just bring this upstairs with us and leave it on our nightstands and that way we can say, oh, tea's done steeping, pop it out, put it in the tea bag holder and sip away. So, and honestly, I, may, I might have even just bought this for decoration in our house had we not been tea drinkers, just because I love my kitty babies and I love to show off the fact that we love black cats. It seems like they're so overlooked. People are superstitious and kind of weird about the all black cats things. I can tell you that my two black kitty cat babies are the sweetest babies and if anything, I'm luckier for having them because my life is so rich with them. Oh, and I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, uh, I found this at the giant gift shop over in the Japan Pavilion in Epcot World Showcase. So, and that's actually my all-time favorite gift store in all of Disney World. It's huge. They have so much merchandise from different fandoms that I love. Like, you know, all the really nerdy ones: Pokemon, Hello Kitty, uh, Totoro. Um, Agretsuko. Anyway, I don't know. I'm weird. I don't want to get into that right now, uh, but I just love, I always have to shop around that pavilion for a good long while. I've bought lots of tea accessories and things in there before, and so I'm, I'm glad to add this to my collection. So here we have a Minnie Mouse bow ornament. So this was one of the first purchases that mom and I made during our Disney trip. We found it over at Disney Springs the first night that we got to our resort. So we headed over and did a little bit of shopping. It seems like we always buy ornaments anytime we go to Disney. And actually last time I went to Disneyland, I bought three ornaments. So I, I reeled it in this time and it was like, you're getting one ornament and uh, this is what I chose. So our Christmas theme is already, like our accent color is already bright red. So I thought this would tie in really perfectly. I'm accumulating so many Disney ornaments though, I'm probably just gonna have to get another tree. Darn. This one they would actually personalize for you. So uh, I decided just to leave it plain because I'm kind of weird. I don't necessarily like to put the years of things unless it's like, you know, a significant date, like I got married or something like that. But, um, you know, I just, I felt like I wanted to keep it plain and simple. And so I left it as is, but they definitely would put like the year or a message, something like that on it. Uh, for a small fee. So this one I believe was about $14.99 yeah, and it was at the Christmas store over in Disney Springs. One bag down, one to go. All right, 
right, so for my second bag of goodies, the first thing I've got in here is this lovely t-shirt. So I found this over at the World Showcase and uh, it was in a special kiosk exclusively for International Flower and Garden Festival items. So I just really love um, baseball tees. This one is especially thin, so you could definitely wear it on like a cool summer evening or you know, with long jeans and boots in the fall. It's really versatile and it's very soft. Um, I do already have a Disney baseball tee, but this one was just too cute to pass up. I love that it says turn up the fun. It's just a cute little way to uh, remember our first time at the Flower Garden Festival. And I did do a big video on all the foodie finds that we found at Flower and Garden Festival. So if you haven't seen that, I will also link it below. And you should go check it out because I found some really great food items that I've been missing out on for years apparently at Disney World. I can't believe that I've never gone during Flower and Garden Festival. Well, my mom says that we went when I was in elementary school, but I mean, you just, I feel like you develop more of an appreciation for the Epcot World Showcase the older that you get. So truthfully, I don't think I would have tried Furushi as a fifth grader, but, or maybe it was sixth grade. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's about the same thing anyway. But um, definitely as an adult, you appreciate all the things that Epcot has to offer and all the festivals that they put on. So uh, do not pass up that opportunity. It's one of the coolest things I've ever done at Disney World. This one is actually not for myself. This is for my husband. This may look kind of familiar. So this was the uh, Ghirardelli box that I made at the Ghirardelli store in Disney Springs. And it is filled with dark chocolate caramel squares. So this is actually exactly the same type of box that we filled up when we were in San Francisco over at Ghirardelli Square. And if you haven't seen that video, I will also link that one below so you can get caught up. We did take a trip to San Francisco earlier this year and uh, we had a blast, So, and we love chocolate, and so naturally we had to get some chocolate from the Ghirardelli store. For some reason, we can't seem to find the dark chocolate caramel anywhere at home. We can find it all over the place with the sea salt on top of it, and I personally like the sea salt with the dark chocolate caramel, but Craig does not like the salt in his chocolate, so um, I played the good wife and decided to get him a big box full of just dark chocolate caramel squares. This is another souvenir that is not for myself, but for my dog son, Bear, who was featured in one of my previous videos, the one where I did the unboxing with Round Pond Estate. So uh, if, you, if nothing else, go watch the video just for my cute dog son because he's adorable and I love him. Uh, but this was purchased for him by my mom, his, his grandma, if you will, as she likes to call him, her grand dog. And uh, these are just Mickey-shaped baked dog treats with bacon flavor. So we found this, I believe, at another store over in Disney Springs. Um, it, it's right next to the World of Disney store, just a little bit farther east. And they've got like six stores linked together. And uh, they had a little doggy section, which is where we saw um, they have Mickey ears and mini ears for your dogs now. How great is that? I mean, I, we are planning on having kids at some point in the future, but right now we're just loving on our fur babies. And um, so I don't really have a child to spoil with, you know, cute Disney toys and gear and things like that. But sure, I'll spoil my dog with Disney stuff. So I, I'm, I'm thinking, well, I held off this time and didn't get him any ears. He doesn't really like to be clothed, but it's just, they're just so cute. And we're going back this fall. So I'm just gonna think about it for a little bit and I may have to get him some next time because they were just too cute. And in the theme of doggy souvenirs, um, I did have to get him this little dog collar. So it is Star Wars themed. And I don't believe, I mean, I've already insinuated how much of a nerd I am up to this point, but I haven't expressed to you that my husband is also a nerd, specifically in the realm of Star Wars things. So he is very excited that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is going to be opening literally the, the day of opening is the day that we arrive at our resort for Food and Wine Festival. So it's gonna be a crazy weekend. Um, but we're excited nonetheless and hope that we're gonna get to check out some of the new Star Wars editions that they have. But back to my souvenirs. So uh, we just, we love Star Wars, you know, anything. We like to incorporate 
our nerd culture into our daily lives. And so um, Bear currently just has like a plain red collar. I'll probably keep it as a backup now that we have the super cute Star Wars one. It's got C-3PO and uh, R2-D2 and the rebel symbol next to it in conjunction. So um, this is going to be a nice little subtle reminder to people that uh, we love to be nerdy. So that's great. <laughs> and continuing on the theme of pets, at least this is not a souvenir for my pet this time, right? So this is actually for myself. Uh, these are kitty cat leggings. So we feature some of the cutest furry baby characters from uh, all of the Disney movies. It looks like we've got, um, you know, the Aristocats and the Cheshire Cat and Simba and it looks like Thomas O'Malley's on there. Um, so it's just got a good little mix of uh, different cat characters from the Disney movies and I plan to wear these if I ever go back to one of those uh, Disney After Hours events. My mom and I decided we needed some matching PJs. So she actually got a pair of leggings just like these, but they are dog characters from the Disney movies. So they're like not exactly matching PJs, but they're close enough. You know, I've got the cat theme, she's got the dog theme. She has a cat of her own anyway, and obviously I have a dog of my own. So it's not like I'm saying I'm exclusively a cat person, but I kind of grew up a cat person, so. Um, I don't know, cats just have a special place in my heart. So I felt like I had to have the cat leggings and we just felt like we should have been wearing PJs at the Disney After Hours event that we went to. And again, I do have a video about that as well so I can link that below so you can get caught up on that too. So we just felt like, you know, we were running around and it was almost midnight and I was like, I should be in my PJs right now. And so next time, if we do it again, which we plan on because it was awesome, uh, I've got some Disney PJs. So we're cool. So this was another fun purchase. It's not, you know, like a serious souvenir. Um, this is the ball that appears in all of the Pixar movies. So it's kind of a fun Easter egg to look for uh, when you're watching the Disney Pixar movies. Uh, but it was the perfect size. I mean, it's technically a children's toy. I found it in the world of Disney over at Disney Springs in the children's section. So, you know, mm, that didn't work very well. It's a real toy. I'm a real toy. It's a real boy. Pinocchio. Anyway, it's bad. That was a bad joke. But I thought this would look really nice on my desk at home. So I do work from home, which is great, uh, which means I don't have to show my office to a lot of people. Um, but I do have some Disney uh, collections. This is going to be going, I'm going to get a little container, maybe like, you know, a, what are those things called? Like what people use to display like baseballs or something like that. Um, I'm just going to get a little stand, yeah, a stand, I suppose, uh, to display this everywhere I go. So I thought this was just kind of a subtle little reminder that says, hey, she loves Disney, but she's not weird, so it's not like all up in your face. And you kind of have to know what this is, so it's kind of like an insider club, too. People will see that and be like, hey, that's the Pixar ball, and I'm like, hey, you're cool, we're friends. So anyway, I was really excited about this, and it wasn't expensive either, it was $7.00 and we got mom's annual pass holder discount on top of it. So uh, I liked it, I had to have it. And finally, perhaps my favorite souvenir that we got while we were at the parks uh, this time is a sterling silver necklace with cubic zirconia diamond dish stones in it. Cubic zirconia stones all lining it. It is Cinderella's castle in this beautiful setting of a necklace. So I was really excited when I found this Mom also got herself a pair of uh, cubic zirconia Mickey earrings as well, so we're kind of bedazzled now in uh, Disney jewelry. But this is just so subtle and it looks so beautiful on. So on that note, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the items that I got at Disney World. If you liked watching this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. And then be sure to come say hi to me as well over on my social media account. You can find me at The Travel Buffet on almost any social media site except for my Facebook is at The Travel Buffet blog. Um, and I think that's it. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and thanks again for watching.